My dear fellow, I had no idea. How are you, sir? We're as comfortable as can be, poor dear, though we won't say so. This looks more like Mycroft, but I'm guessing that Watson hasn't noticed this. Are you able to speak, sir? Please give me a sign. He doesn't wish to speak. Stubbornness, I believe. Yes, stubbornness, of course. I had no idea Mr. Holmes' injuries were so extensive. What is his condition? Tolerable, though he won't answer a direct question and rattles on most peculiarly from time to time. However, the party you address is not Mr. Holmes. I beg your pardon? The gentleman in white is not Mr. Holmes. Mr. Holmes is in bed three, as you can see for yourself. Ah, yes, of course, to be sure. Has Mr. Holmes said or done anything that you can tell me about? Well, mostly he's a lamb, Mr. Holmes is. And if he continues to be a good boy, I'll give him another dose of morphine. I think he has had quite enough medication. What about me? I'm a good boy. Where's my morphine? Hello, Mycroft. It's John Watson. Sister treating you well? What's that? Who's there? Oh, Doctor. Fine, 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 fine. Flit on, cheering angel. She is not, I mean. Tin shoes, eh? Hmm? Sherlock's in a funk, sir. I'm trying to revive him. Can you help? Ask me to be he who kills a misery. Not free to be, don't flee. Where's the key? A former tree. Who's the key? What? How? Treachery. <laughs> Mendacity. If he's free, you should see if I have the key or I ought to be. I just might see conspiracy. Privacy. Oh, it's a terrible thing to hear a grown man speak to Rivel. If you don't mind, sister, I'd appreciate a bit of privacy. Well, excuse me, I'm sure. Now, not a whole lot is known about Mycroft Holmes. He's mentioned, well, he appears, or is, or is at least mentioned in, I believe, four stories in total. Now, he's probably used to speaking drivel, as not much is known about him apart from that he is a government official. And apparently, he possesses a greater mind for observation and deduction than Holmes, but he just lacks the energy and inclination to do anything about it. I believe what we need from him, though, is this ring. Now, apparently, the Di Diogenes Club is where Mycroft spends most of his time. And this is what we need to get in there. I'll tell Sherlock you're in good hands. Please, don't interfere with the patient, sir. No touching. Very unsanitary. Will you please bring Mr. Holmes some fresh water? I mustn't leave the ward. My patients depend on me. Please make an exception. I'll watch your patients. I'm a doctor. Very well. Anywise, I'm perishing for a cup of tea.
I'll try to put this to good use, Mycroft. Okay, we are done. You took your time, Doctor. I was about to send out a search party. <coughs> Thank you, Matron. As always, you are the soul of civility. <coughs> In the last game, we didn't actually have a specific amount of money. And it seems like we don't in this game either. Just some coins and some notes. Okay. And there's nothing really important here at the moment apart from this ring. Well, why didn't you say you was a member? Save us both some aggro. I'm guessing that this one is the portrait of Mycroft. The magnitude of human tragedy is not measured by the numbers who endure it. A simple, solitary, displaced possession of a particular man is most affecting. Are there other such signs about? There isn't anything else that's important here? Well, not at the moment, anyway. Okay. And it seems like we, like we can't actually see much in here. The only thing important right now is this clock. Intriguing. This residue reminds me of some bad business I saw in the army. Dr. Watson, you should be ashamed of yourself. You'll have to get out. None but authorized persons are allowed. No. We can actually return inside, but there's nothing else we can do here at the moment. Constable, I may return with Mr. Sherlock Holmes in tow. Suit yourself, Doctor. With any luck, I'll be in my bed. Okay. Let's go and check up on Holmes.
What is it, Doctor? What might I do for you, Holmes? How may I help? Make yourself scarce, Doctor. If I'm to grow fonder of you, your absence is required. What are you up to in there, Holmes? Nothing unsafe? No unhealthy behaviour? I've tried recalling how sorrow has affected my acquaintances. Evidently, I lack the compassion to have remarked their reactions. Please, do not burden your sadness with unwarranted self-reproach. <sighs> Forgive me if I cannot accept your kindness, Doctor, or feel that I deserve it. I've gathered some intriguing titbits about the Diogenes explosion. Perhaps you'd like to investigate them. Much obliged, Watson. I appreciate your effort, but do not exert yourself. I'm not sure I even want to hear them. Not interested? I'm bound to say, Holmes, your behavior is irrational. I never thought I'd see the day. I won't be goaded into better humor, Doctor. I am dejected by Mycroft's condition and furious about my inability to help him. But I have not lost my mind, just my energy. I've been thwarted, Holmes. Only you can help sort out my confusion. Appeals to my vanity will not serve you, Watson. A confusion suggests a surfeit of information. You lack even a bare sufficiency for me to evaluate. I have an interesting hypothesis. You might recall that one demonstrable proof is worth more to me than myriad suppositions. I do not act on guesswork. It's been suggested that terrorists may have ignited the Diogenes. That sounds like one of Augie Trimble's nuggets, Watson. It falls just short of being completely absurd. I hope you didn't pay for it. Not much. Have you considered the possibility that some sort of foul play caused the conflagration? Doctor, I'm truly touched by your efforts to engage my attention, but please confine yourself to reality. Mycroft was felled by a real explosion, not a hypothetical one. That's very pompous. You sound more like Lestrade than I would have thought possible. Sadness constrains the imagination. Incidentally, if anyone accuses you of having a supportive and sympathetic manner, mark him as a liar. Wow. Good news, Holmes. I'm pleased to report that Mycroft is intermittently conscious. That's some comfort. Granted he's burned and battered, and the combination of concussion and morphine has caused delirium. A summary would suffice, thank you. He's sporadically cogent. I asked how Nurse was treating him, and he responded, Flit on cheering angel and something about shoes. Peculiar answer. But an answer, nonetheless. If you imagine that you can engage my attention with an anagram, you are mistaken. But I'm grateful for your report. I saw Sir Hubert's corpse, Holmes. There were no obvious signs of concussive damage. Of what interest should that be to me? I expected massive excoriations, arterial bleeding, and discharge from the ears and nose. And you observed? Save some singeing on his forehead, his condition was excellent. He might have suffered a fatal coronary. And so he may have. I attach no significance to the manner of his death. Some investigators reported that the Diogenes appeared to have been bombed. I'm not surprised. They may have done military service. To understand something capricious, they equate what they don't know with what they do. It's quite natural, but such analogies have limited value. The stranger's room was most badly damaged, and it didn't even have a gas line. What if a bomb did cause the explosion? Who ignited it? How? And why would anyone target the Diogenes? It's ridiculous. Most improbable. There would be evidence, and the police ninnies, though they may be, would surely have found it, wouldn't they? Well, if Mycroft is a government official, as well as the people, other people who fre frequent there, then surely that would be some sort of, sort of target, maybe? But for whatever reason, we don't know at the moment. I may have the means to provide the demonstrable proof you require. Your speech is uncharacteristically obscure, Doctor. Okay, so we need to lure Holmes out, and we do have one piece of evidence that we can use. The 
clock face residue looks suspiciously like something I saw in India. If I'm right, I'll do more than engage Holmes' attention. Okay, time for some lab work. I think if I warm a sample in a sulfide bath, a black precipitate would provide confirmation. Unfortunately, this game doesn't do this for you automatically, so we do have some hints. A bath is normally compiled with water. And we do have some sodium sulfate. Yes, we do have quite, we do have several different concoctions, but at the moment, this one is fairly simple. What in blue blazes was that? Are you trying to kill us? I'm trying to satisfy your partiality for proofs, and I wanted your attention. You have it. My experiment confirmed that residue I recovered from the Diogenes was explosive fulminate. A gas main was ruptured, it exploded, but that explosion was caused by an incendiary device. Let me gather my thoughts, Watson. I am beginning to suspect a strange and peculiarly terrible chain of events, and Doctor, thank you for showing me my duty. Fulminate of mercury. The black precipitate is decisive. Micro felled by a bomb. Damnable villains. An outrageous and unconscionable act. The misbegotten maggots. If I had them before me, I could not be trusted. Have you been ingesting stimulants, Holmes? Let me have some tea brought up. I'm as sober as Carrie Nation, Watson, and more determined. Let us get on with it. I will have the fiends who tried to kill my brother. And now we control Holmes. Which is quite well. It's to be expected, but I was enjoying playing as Watson. But with Holmes, we can actually explore our rooms a bit more. I'm not going to examine every little nook and cranny, but there are some things we can interact with. I doubt that wretched trace has any more to teach. That face may have more to tell. Oh, it's done. If it wasn't, I would have switched this off because that was quite loud. Wait, I thought that we were in Sherlock's room.
Combined with the right cosmetics, this would do nicely. What's the point? This battle has been lost. Wow. I didn't think that he'd give up so easily. Did you receive any assistance from Scotland Yard? I never got past Constable Burns. <sighs> Obstructive moron. My brother is nearly killed in a vicious assault and you can't even get in to see Lestrade. Don't let anger dim your wit. The Yard is ignorant of our Diogenes discovery. That's a good thing, as you would ordinarily be the first to say. We don't yet know what variety of foul play we're dealing with. Your pardon, Watson. My anger at the would-be assassins has made me muzzy. I have a fierce thirst. Only justice will slake it. I think you mean revenge. So be it. They are the same to me now. Have you begun your journal entries, Doctor? Any matter in which you take an interest may have enduring public consequences. Your investigative efforts expose several productive leads, Watson. But no obvious starting point for our inquiry. They say a good beginning ensures a good outcome. We are not so credulous to think so. There is more here than a common attempted murder. So I surmised. The matter will not admit of a simple resolution. But I will not rest until the wretch responsible for this outrage against my brother is punished. There is a matter I should like to put to Inspector Lestrade. Can the Yard assist in our inquiries? Mm, expectations are low, and your point about official ignorance is well taken. The Inspector has neither need nor capacity to know what we know. Still, his title might become the rough water we'll confront. What items might have assisted your own inquiries, Watson? The bull's eye wouldn't have been amiss, and a nimble brain would have helped. The former is here somewhere. We can secure it. The latter is more than sufficient. Don't troll for compliments, Doctor. Did you collect other evidence at the Diogenes that might assist us? I couldn't perform a proper search. It's dark as Guinness in there. The damp and unstable conditions didn't help, and Forbes was about. Hmm, yes, he will complicate matters, but the damage to the rooms may be of interest, and there may be other physical evidence. We must return eventually. You know my methods, Watson. It is the scene of a crime. Have we neglected assistance from any quarter, Watson? I don't believe you've fully exploited your journalistic connection. I know you value his knowledge and connections. It may be time to pay him another visit. Okay. And you may notice, oh, it doesn't show up here. But it does show up here. We do actually have a journal in this game. Well, there was a journal in the first game, but not in the 3DO version, unfortunately. Okay, so basically this just keeps a track on all the conversations that we've had. Oh, 
Oop. Maybe I should have actually looked at this first. Oh, that's good to see the target practice is back. You've often said a Billy is overmatched for self-defense. Quite right, Doctor. Something more resolute is in order. Use your own judgment. Well, I believe we have done all we can do here. Take your pistol, will you, Watson? There's no telling what this case will bring. For once I am ahead of you, Holmes. It is in my pocket. <laughs> 